Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with a quick review of the brand new Amazon Echo Pop. This is the latest smart speaker from Amazon that allows you to control your home appliances, get the weather, ask about the news, or play music. There's a lot of things you can do with a smart speaker, and this has the entire Alexa ecosystem built into it. Now, before I get too deep into the review of exactly what this product provides, I'd like to start with an unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the product because there's not a lot inside the box, but it's important you understand what you get if you decide this product's right for you. And then I'll explain the features of the product Product because I was a little hesitant when I first saw this product announced and I thought to myself it's a lot smaller than the last generation Echo Dot and it can't possibly sound that great but I was wrong it really has a phenomenal sound to it and it's perfect to set up in your kitchen on your desk in the kids room anywhere you need a little extra music and you want to have all those advanced features of a home smart speaker so I'll get into all that I'll also take a closer look at it to give you an idea of what the buttons and indicators do. And then I'll come back and point out a few things that I really like about it and a few things that I'm not crazy about. So stay tuned for that at the end. Anyway, let's get started with the unboxing. When you first pop open the box, you'll find the brand new Echo Pop. And again, it's sort of a, it's about half the size as the Echo Dot. And that's why I was concerned about it, because I thought, well, this had pretty good sound to it. There's no way they're going to get good sound out of this, but I'll explain why that isn't true in a second. You'll also find the customary power supply. You'll plug this end into any standard wall outlet. The other end has a barrel connection on it, which plugs into the back of the unit, and that's all the power you'll need to operate the product. You'll also find two guides included. One is an instruction guide, and one is a guide that sort of walks through some of the functions that the product provides. All right, so let's talk about the unit. For starters, it's an interesting design because it's, again, about half the size as the original Echo Dot or the last generation Echo Dot. But what Amazon did with this is they made it sort of face you. So all the music is coming out of that concave shape behind it. And again, I thought to myself, well, that can't really sound that great. But because of the way they've got these front facing speakers, you get really crisp highs. And believe it or not, you get quite a bit of bass out of it as well. So I like the design. It also makes it really easy to fit it into any standard decor. You can put it at the end of a table or in the corner on a bookshelf, and it almost disappears. They offer the unit in four different colors. I've got the black one in front of me but there are three other colors to choose from, so it's pretty easy to find one that'll fit into pretty much any room. The other thing that's nice about this is that it's a smart speaker, and if you've used any of the Echo products before, any of the Alexa products, all the features you'll find in those other products are available in this one as well. There's a little light bar at the top of it that'll actually give you some indication of the current status for the product. So for example, if you put the mute button on where it's not listening to the microphone anymore, this bar will turn red, and there's other colors as well. The last thing I'll talk about is that Amazon is really conscious about sort of ecological issues. So this product uses a tremendous amount of recycled products. The screening on the front is made from recycled paper. The actual case is made from recycled plastic. So what you're looking at here is a product that's between 80 and 90% recycled materials, which I think is a great thing for the planet because anytime we can take material that we've already used with plastic water bottles or clothing and recycle it into new products means it's not ending up in a landfill somewhere. So I think that's a wonderful thing. All right, so if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at the unit and then I'll do a quick demonstration to show you just how well this sounds with some music playing through it. And I'll point out a few things that I really like about it and maybe one or two little things that just annoy me and I don't understand. So we'll get into that in a minute. Now I'll do a quick demonstration to show you how this product works. And if you already own some Echo products, it's going to operate just like the ones you have in your home. But if you don't own a smart speaker at this point, this might be a great product to start with because it's incredibly functional. It can do so many things. It can tell you the time. It can tell you the weather. It can talk about traffic. It can give you the news. You can listen to podcasts. You can listen to music. You can play games. There's so many things this does that it just makes things easier in your life. Now, I know a lot of people worry that a smart speaker like this might be listening to all your conversations and somehow uploading them to the cloud where other people are listening to them. And nothing could be further from the truth. But if you're worried about that, there's a button in the center you can tap, and this red light comes on, and that indicates that the unit has the microphone turned off. So no matter what I say to it, it's not going to listen to me at this point. And then when you want to use it, you'll pop that button again so it's in, it's in the ready mode, and then you have to issue a wake word. So all it's doing is sitting there waiting for that wake word, and you have a choice of wake words. It can be computer, it can be echo, it can be uh, Alexa. There's a couple of different choices in the application. 
But once you say that wake word, then it springs to life and it's listening for your next command. So it's listening for you to say do something and then it responds to that. So let me show you how that works. Now I've named this one Alexa. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 8.09 p.m. Okay, now that's an easy one, right? You could look at your wristwatch, you got a phone nearby, you could pick that up, but it's kind of nice to just shout at a speaker and have it respond. Let me try something a little bit more complicated. Alexa, what's the capital of Kansas? Kansas's capital is Topeka. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So if kids are doing homework and they need a quick answer, that's not a bad thing to do. Uh, let me try a math problem. This might take a little longer. Alexa, what's 8 times 15? 8 times 15 is 120. Kind of neat. So if you're sitting at the desk and you need an answer for a question, boom, you can hit it with that. Now, it'll play a podcast. You can uh, hook up all your streaming services to it if you want to listen to music. Now, I'll play some music in a second, but I can't use copyrighted material for obvious reasons. But I've got a song that's uploaded that I own that I can actually play through here. So I want to give you an idea of how the audio sounds. Now, bear in mind that I'm recording this. It's getting compressed, it's getting uploaded to the uh, internet, so it's not gonna be the best quality. But I promise you, the one thing that blew me away about this product was the audio quality. And I know a small speaker like this should not sound good. It should sound tinny, there should be very little bass, it should be all high-end, high-frequency response. And I was really shocked at how well this sounds. I mean, how good it sounds. It's got crisp highs, really rich mid-range, and it's got a lot of bass, which almost violates the laws of physics. Like I said before, it's, it's a small speaker that shouldn't sound that bass-oriented, but it does. And I think it has a lot to do with the front-facing sp speakers and the concave shape. That parabolic shape is really, acoustically, the perfect way to throw all the audio out towards the center of the room. So when you position this in the room, make sure it's facing the center of the room, and all that beautiful music and audio is just going to wash over you in the room. All right, so let's try some music, and then I'll move on to the final section where I'm going to talk about some things I like a lot about it. Alexa, ask my pod to play my song's playlist. Playing sample music. Now, you can turn the volume up by asking it, Alexa, volume up. A little louder. You can also push the button on the top. Here's the up button. That's as loud as it gets, but that's pretty loud. I don't know if you can still hear me over the top of it. <laughs> anyway, let me turn it down. Now that's not going to fill a concert hall, but oh, I meant to mention this. Look at this bar up here. When I hit the button, see how the colors change? So you get a relative idea of how loud it is. But anyway, it's not going to fill a concert hall, but if you've got this on your desk, you've got it in the kids' room or it's in the kitchen, that's more than enough sound to fill that room with beautiful music and just enjoy the day. You're out there making breakfast, you're dancing around listening to your music. It's a cool product. So anyway, stay tuned next and I'll start, uh, I'll talk a little bit about what I like about it, a couple of things that really kind of annoyed me a little bit, and I know they're nitpicky, but I'll get into that in a minute. Now we'll take a closer look at the Echo Pop. The case is high-impact plastic, which is made from mostly recycled materials, and the front has a cloth grill on it, again, recycled materials there. On the top is a status bar that indicates the current state of the unit. If it's blue, that means you've woken it up using the wake word, which can be Alexa, can be Echo, can be computer, and you can change those in the application. But once you issue that wake word, it turns blue, indicating it's waiting for a command. If this is red, that means the microphone's turned off because you've hit the mute button. It won't respond to any of your commands. It could be orange as well. Now, orange indicates it's waiting to be added to your system, so when it's brand new, it'll be in the orange state until you add it through the application to your network. It could be purple. If it's purple, it means the unit is currently offline. If it's yellow, that indicates there's a message waiting from Amazon, a notification, and you can have this product read that notification by saying the wake word, and then read my notifications. So it would be like Alexa, read my notifications. And then finally, if it's green, that means you have an incoming call from another Alexa product or from a phone, and you can answer that call by saying the wake word and then saying, answer the call. So it would be Alexa, answer the call. So that's a really good indication of everything that's going on with the unit. Now around back, you'll find the power port, and you can use the included power supply. You'll plug that into the wall. The uh, other end of that cable has a barrel connection, which plugs in right there. On the bottom of the unit is a nice rubber ring here, so when you set this down on a table, it's going to stay right where you left it, and it's going to face the right angle to throw all the audio out towards the room. And then finally, on the top of the unit, there are three holes. Those are the microphones that are listening for your commands. 
The mute button in the center will actually mute the microphone, so if you're worried about people listening to your conversations, when you're not using it, tap that button. This will turn red, indicating the microphone's off. Then finally, a plus and a minus button adjust the volume. You can also adjust the volume using a command saying Alexa or whatever the wake word is, volume up or volume down. And that's pretty much it. Plug it into the wall. The first time it comes online, you'll have to add it to your system through the application. Once you do, it'll be ready to use. I hope that closer look was helpful. Now here are a few really important things to keep in mind when you're comparing the brand new Echo Pop to other Echo products or even other smart speakers in the market. And there's a lot to like about this product, starting with its smaller size. This product is incredibly small, which means it's easy to put it anywhere in your home. You can have it on the counter in the kitchen, you can put it on your desk, you can have it in the kids' room, and it takes up almost no space whatsoever, and it fits in any decor because there are four colors available, and it produces some pretty incredible sound. The other thing I like about it is the design. It's got this concave design, this parabolic design, which looks like an amphitheater. If you think about that, most of the amphitheaters are designed in that curvature space, so all the sound is broadcast out the front. They're not wasting any audio out to the back like a lot of the other Echo Dot products do, or some of the other smart speakers on the market that have a 360 degree radiation pattern. With this one, it's designed to sit on a shelf and throw all the audio from your music or whatever you're listening to out into the room. So it's going to give you some pretty incredible sound. Now again, I thought initially the smaller size means a reduced fidelity on that audio, and I was wrong on that too because it produces some incredibly nice crisp highs, some really good mid-range, and some pretty astounding bass for a small speaker like this. It almost violates the laws of physics in some respects because you can turn it up pretty loud, it's going to fill the room with pretty good audio, and it's got amazing bass. I also like the fact that this product can be joined with another product to create a stereo effect. So you can join two of these together to give you a stereo effect in the room. You can also use it as an intercom, just like you can with a lot of the Alexa products. So if mom's in the kitchen and it's time for dinner, she can talk to all of the other Echo products in the house and say, hey, everybody head down to the kitchen, or maybe dad's making dinner, head down to the kitchen, dinner's ready. Everybody get down here right away. I like that an awful lot. Now, a couple of things I don't like about it, I know I'm nitpicking here, but they did this with the last generation as well. If you're offering the product in four different colors, it's not that difficult to make the charger in the same color as the product. I've got a black unit and I've got a white charger. Now, if I put this on a shelf, you're going to see this white cable across the back of the shelf. It would have been nice to have the black unit with a black charger, the green unit with a green charger. So that's one little uh, pet peeve of mine. Another one, which I think is really easy to fix, and I don't understand why they haven't done this, is there's no reason in these days with electronics modified the way it's been and how sophisticated it's gotten to have a proprietary charger. This charger is a standard voltage and they've got a custom barrel connection on the end of it. Now, the reason that bothers me is because heaven forbid the charger goes bad. Now I've got to buy a new charger that's proprietary and I've got to go searching to find one that works with the unit. This could have very easily been run from a USB-C connection and a standard USB charger could have been used with it with a USB-C cable. So I don't for the life of me understand why we still have proprietary chargers for a product like this that isn't matching the color of the product. Now I know that seems like a minor thing, but as an engineer, I look at things like that and it just bugs me that somebody didn't say, you know what, we could certainly make those chargers in the same color plastic as the unit. But anyway, that's the way it is today. But other than that, that's the only thing I can pick on. I really thought when I got this product and started testing it, that I would have some issues with the audio quality. And I was actually blown away by the quality of the audio. And you heard that a few minutes ago. It actually has really good, rich audio from a tiny little speaker like this that can fit on a shelf you almost forget it's there until you decide to ask it some questions, listen to a podcast, play some music, and it just produces some really rich sound. So that's all I really had for today. I like this product an awful lot. I've been using it for about a week. I got one early, and I think you're going to like it as well. So thanks an awful lot for watching, and until next time, as always, stay nerdy!